What's up, ship fam? What's up, YouTube? We are back with a, another weekly episode of the Struggle Farm, all the way to episode 16. 15 episodes already in the books. 16 gets started right now. Yo, I can't wait. It took a long time to get all this grass packed down with this thing, but we got it done. Now it's time to cover it. But first, if you haven't hit the like button yet, do me a big favor, hit the like button, especially if you're enjoying the Struggle Farm series. If you haven't hit the sub yet, do me a favor, hit the sub button. Join us on our journey as we uh, approach the 1,000 subscriber mark. For those of you that have hit the sub button, thank you so much for being part of our journey over here on YouTube. It means a lot to me. Let's get out of this thing and cover this up. Let's go ahead and do that. And just like that, the bunker is covered. Let's take a look and see how much we have. Well, we don't know because I covered it. So why don't we put this thing away for now? Might even think about putting it over here somewhere, but I think we're gonna put it down here near the, the forestry stuff for now. And then I think we're gonna go sleep. We'll wake up October, it'll be October 1st, I think. Unless, well, no, we want to. Yeah, we got to stay. We got to stay. All right, let's go ahead and park this thing right over here. We have got a mess. I need a shed over here at some point. Oh, by the way, if some of you had noticed that we all of a sudden have $14,000, where last time I think we had like $1,500, we had a riding lawnmower I was using around the farm, like around the buildings. I sold it. We got like $13,000 some odd thousand dollars for it. I'm happy about it. Uh... It actually uh, opens up the inside of that shed out there, so I'm a happy guy. Uh, let's go to sleep. Let's wake up in October. Why don't we? I jumped on accident. All right. I'll see you guys next month. First things first, we've got to do some spraying. We have a couple fields that have some weeds popping up, so I think we got to spray those real quick and... Unless I can use a small weeder. We might be able to use a small weeder. You know, I think we're just going to get some herbicide and spray. I think I have some herbicide left. If not, we'll have to go down to... Uh... We got a lot of fertilizer. You know what? We might we can fertilize everything first. I think we're, we're right about that stage. And then we'll hop in the truck and we'll go grab some a pallet of herbicide down at the uh, down at the shop. That sounds like a good idea. All right, let's get this field all sprayed, ready to go. I think I think it should be good. Let's take a look. Right on this side, it's fifty. On this side, whoopsie. On this side, okay. So there we go. Uh, that side's 100, so we're good. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this field sprayed, and we'll just spray everything, and hopefully that empties our sprayer, and we'll be able to use it for some herbicide. So we've got to use herbicide on that field, not that one, the little one down by the house, and the field behind it. Both of those need, uh, need herbicide. Uh, it's the two oldest fields, so that might, you know, it, it might take a, it might take a season or two, or a full season, before new fields see weeds. I think that might be, that might be it. So wherever you see the dark blue, that is our second round of fertilizer. So we're 
we're doing good. I'm gonna do the outside, like the border first, and then we'll just spray the inside of it. I, I, it's hard to see with some of these crops, especially canola. It's like really hard to see where you did and where you have it. Uh, other crops, it's a little thinner. You can see like the soil looks uh, a little more wet. It just looks wet, in my opinion. I do believe, I, I, I do believe that if this game were on, let's say, um, Engine 5, I, I think, uh, Unreal Engine 5, I think we would have a lot better, um, soil textures, whether that's, you know, pre-fertilizer, post-fertilizer, but, uh, just have to deal with what we, what we have for now. We've gone all the way around, and now we just got to do a couple passes. We're lucky. Like, this tool is super wide, so it's not going to take... It's not going to take a lot to, uh, to finish some of these smaller fields. I'd like to get those trees out of there today. Um, we do have to make some hay before winter comes. Or I would like to make some hay before winter comes. Um, get some hay in our our new straw and hay barn uh for those of you that haven't seen that we haven't had one on the farm up until last episode last episode we borrowed a hundred thousand dollars from the bank so we are in debt luckily the terms of the loan are as such we don't have to start paying it back until our new cow barn over there starts producing milk and that is quite impossible to do because we haven't been able to afford cows yet. So what we're gonna do is with this year's harvest, or I should say next year's harvest because this won't be ready until next year, uh, we're going to save up our money from the harvest and that's how we'll buy our cows, I hope. Um, it, we might just, we might just make the struggle farm a little bit more struggly. Is that even a word? So we're almost uh, done. We have one little triangle here and we're headed right towards it. And our first field is 100% fertilized. So one out of four. And we should be right on top of it. Just about, there we go. One, done. So one of our canola fields is completely done. This is our second canola field. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive straight down to the house and we'll just kind of fertilize our second canola field and our first wheat field. We'll just fertilize it all at one time. But check this out. This did not look like this 16 episodes ago. It is starting to look like a farm. At some point, we'll upgrade our house. We're still living in that rundown shack. We've definitely cleared a lot of trees out from around here. We've got some chickens. We've got some greenhouses. I'd like to upgrade our silos. But yeah, it's, it, it's starting to look like a farm around here. I'm super, super happy uh, with our progress, I think. I think we've come a really long way. It's our last pass on this field, and we have like a half a pass on the wheat field, and then we're on to the back. We've got one field left. And then we are gonna have to run down to the shop, grab a pallet of a herbicide. I don't think we need more than one. I think one pallet will be just fine. And I was down here on this field, so I think we've got to come over this way. Yes. All right. So I think we can, if we go all the way to the end, I think we're going to be able to reach it. Take another quick look at the map. But I think we should be able to get it all. Yes. Perfect. Last field. Remember, it's that one with the stupid piece of ledge. I hate that ledge. I wish I would have never, ever done that. 
and we'll have to do some mowing. But look at it from this angle. I love it. Everywhere I look, it looks like uh, it looks like the farm has changed so dramatically. Like I said, I'd like to get a I'd like to get a shed over here, get some of our forestry equipment, you know, underneath our rock picker, uh, you know, things like that. We'll put that over here. But yeah, I think we're we're, we're in good shape. I love how the cows, the dairy barn, and all that came out. Um, and then if you watch the beginning of this episode, you already seen that we covered our silage. I don't know how many liters are in it, but I do know uh, it's going to be more than enough to get us through our first season, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. But uh, we're in such good shape. All right, the last field is just about finished, so everything is 100% fertilized. All we've got to do is hit this. Oh, there's some bales over here. Uh, we got to hit this with some uh, herbicide. So we'll have to make a quick trip to the store and uh, or the shop area and grab one pallet I think is good. Because we only have two fields that need it right now. Here we go. We are set. We are ready to go. I think I'm gonna unload what's left right there. So now we're empty. Now we just gotta run down and grab some herbicide. 2400 bucks later. Seems expensive for a pallet of uh, herbicide. But at least we'll get rid of the weeds. Be in tip top shape, I do believe. All right, so it's just this field and the one in the back that have weeds. You can kind of watch them disappear. I don't know, maybe that the sun's at a weird angle, but I can see them disappear. Perfect. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of it left over. I guess I could have bought just like a small pallet. Well, that's all right. We spray this, see the difference? You can actually see it from this angle without the sun. Yeah, see how this has little spots? Those are all weeds. But as we spray them, the weeds disappear. You know, it is a cool animation. I might play with weeds on even on my live streams, I think that'd be kind of neat. I think I'm excited because we don't have to touch these fields again until harvest time. All the fertilizing's done. Pretty soon we have one field left. And the weeding will be done or spreading the herbicide will be done. Uh, I think we're going to go get rid of those two trees way over there. Um... Yeah, and if the weather holds up, I think we'll do some mowing and some tethering, and we'll fill our hay barn with some hay. Oh, at the infamous rock. I think by now it's famous. I wish this game had, like, some, some TNT. Drill some holes and blow that thing out of there. I'd be a happy guy if we could get rid of this. The last bit of field work until after the winter. Until it's time to harvest, we are 100% done. Fully fertilized, fully herbicided. Is that a word? Anyway, no more weeds. Just a nice growing season. We will see at harvest time. Let's get this thing put away and I'm gonna have to go make sure there's some gas and oil in the old chainsaw. All right, I've got the stump grinder hooked up and I've got the little skid thing on the back of the tractor. Now we just gotta get these off the field. There's three trees total. There's two that I want gone here, and then one 
way over there in the corner. So we're going to start with these. So let's get our... Which way do I want these to fall? I don't want them to fall on the field. And I don't want them to fall in the water. Here. Oh, I think that's going to go the wrong way. All right, let's cut it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we're good. Is it going to fall the way we want it to fall? Now, I've had a lot of trouble with these trees not wanting to fall at all. You got to give it a little push. Oh, did it fall on the tractor? Oh, perfect. All right, let's drop this other one as well. Tree number two. Am I supposed to yell timber? I don't know. Give it a little push. Well, the sound came before the fall. That seems something's wrong. All right, there we go. Now, let's drag these over to our uh, firewood production, and we'll make some pallets of firewood. All right, we're going to drag these one at a time. Oopsie. I did not mean to jump like that. Let's hope this can drag it. Oh my god. This thing is huge. Maybe we should delimit? Probably. Probably should delimit. Let's go ahead and do that. just have a couple did I get it all oh I did get it all perfect now we'll drag it over not bad I bet you we get a couple pallets of firewood just out of this I think I'm gonna go behind no we're going from yeah we'll keep going this way all right we're gonna drag this right here just like that I'm gonna go ahead and unhook it and then we're just gonna go hit the exclamation point right here voila and now we have pallets of firewood in the making tree number two all hooked up ready to go Now we just gotta get rid of these stumps and hook the mower up, I believe. I jumped out. All right, one stump down, another stump here. Good to go. Ready cut some grass. We're ready to cut some... Hey! Alright, let's drop this off right here. Like I said, I would love to get another little shed for out here. But now that the trees are all gone and we have firewood in production, let's go grab the mower. I believe it's... Yeah, I see it. Oh, I see it. All right, now that the trees we wanted to get out of the way are out of the way, we're going to go ahead and grab the mower. There we go. And I think it doesn't really matter which direction we go. The grass that we're going to cut and make into hay, we can get there by going this way or the other way. But I think it's, it starts right after this, uh, the most recent canola field we put in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start our cut this way. Now remember, once we have our edge cut, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna drive, we're only gonna drive on the already cut grass. We'll do that once we have our edge all cut. 
and wide enough to drive on. Yeah, I love the way this part of the farm came out. I love whenever a field, whether it's a plowed field or it's a grass field, I love organic shapes. I'm not really a fan of fields that are, I don't know, just always kind of square or rectangle or perfectly shaped. And this is actually where we left off the last time. So the, all this grass that's been cut here is in the silage bunker, and it's all covered up uh, fermenting, so the rest of this we're just going to turn into hay. At some point, we're going to extend our fence all the way around, but for now it ends right there. Uh, but... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll fence in our entire little ranch area here. Hopefully, by the last episode, episode 24 is scheduled to be our last, uh, our last episode, so. I really don't want to drive on the canola field, so, oh, cool. All right, let me get this thing turned around. We are now going to drive on... Um, the already cut side, so that way we don't pack anything else down. I've got us a double row all the way around. Now I think it's time we just kind of go back and forth. Again, we're going to do all we can to stay on the already cut ground. So by staying on the already cut grass, we're not packing any more down. Does that apply to farm sim? Probably not, but it applies to real life. And I can tell you, when I don't try to keep it as realistic as I can on things like that, we get a lot of comments about it <laughs> from real-life farmers. I'm glad they take their job as seriously as they do, and I've said this once before, um, I'll say it again. I think farmers work their hands to the bone. Farmers are the hardest working people you'll ever see in this world. Sun up to sun down, 365 days a year. So I I can appreciate their hard work and I can appreciate their uh, willingness to keep farm sim content creators. I don't want to say honest, but as realistic as, as they can be. It's uh, 12.30 game time, and we're definitely over halfway done with uh, cutting the grass. That's all we've got left. You can kind of see it there. Oh, I messed up. Not much left at all. I don't think we'll have time to tether it on this episode. We'll have to wait and see. All right, we are almost finished cutting the grass over here, which we're going to tether and turn into hay. And it'll go in our brand new hay barn over there. I can't wait to start using that. It looks so cool. I hope it has an animation. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Uh, it has a conveyor belt, so I'm wondering, I'm wondering if there's, uh, some kind of cool animation, but we haven't seen it yet. I haven't been able to use it. Let's see here, one more turn? Oh, it looks like there's a couple more paths. There we go. We are all cut. That's probably the last bit of grass we're going to be able to cut. It's October 1st. Winter's coming. So let's go ahead and clean this up and put it away for the winter. Which I believe I, believe I put a washer over there. Not 100% sure. 
I did put a power washer over here. Fantastic. So we're going to clean our lower deck. This will be the last time we clean it for the season. The last time we use it for the season. Let's go ahead and grab our nozzle here. Start spraying it down. It is caked on there. I'll Oh, that looks so much better. Already. Actually, that's done. Yeah. I think we're good. Put our hose away. Now we can put our mower deck away. I think we're just going to back it in right there. That'll be its resting spot for the winter. And this is going to be our resting spot for the end of episode 16. Next time, we'll have to tether all that grass, turn it into hay, uh, and we'll finally be able to use our new hay and straw barn. I'm so excited. I can't wait for episode 17. If you want to see episode 17, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video. It lets me know you like it. It lets YouTube know you like it. And they're more apt to show the video to new people. And that's how we grow this amazing community. If you're new here and you like the content, you want to see more of it, do me a favor. Hit the sub button. We are so close to our first 1,000 subscribers over here on the channel. I can't thank you all enough for joining me on this journey. Not just today, but every day. It has been so much fun, and I can't wait to continue this journey with you. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, look after one another, be kind to yourselves. You deserve it. And much love, everybody.